homeschooling for two years. I started homeschooling because my kids went to Singing Cedars, the um, Waldorf-inspired kindergarten and preschool. So when we found out that there was um, Singing Cedars, Waldorf-inspired preschool and uh, kindergarten, and I knew the person that was running it, I was overjoyed. So I just enrolled them in there and it was like walking into a magical world where the there was hardly any direction from the, the teachers or the adults in charge guiding the group of maybe seven to nine kids. And uh, the children were all just singing outside 90% of the day. They were following the teacher just by her singing a song they would know it's time to go in or it's time to go do some other kind of work. I never once heard the word no and that really struck me. It was um, more of an allowing atmosphere for them and they were happy. Matthew is six and three quarters as he would say and Gabriel is nine years old. He just turned nine in February and they're both boys to the hilt. <laughs> they're active boys, love dirt, love nature, love guns. What boy doesn't? <laughs> love to carve. They love to cook. They love to grow things. They love the animals, especially chasing the chickens and the ducks. <laughs> My name is Howard Osborne and uh, I live here in Fairfield and I've been living here for just about 30 years. And a very interesting thing happened um, in late August of one year, I think it was um, 1993, uh, a woman just knocked on my door and I knew who she was and I knew who her son was. He was probably about 10th grade. And she said, um, would you be interested in homeschooling my son? And I had just left MSAE, and I wasn't even really sure what it was. I'd never even really heard of it. I said, well, what's homeschooling? And she said, basically, uh, well, you could teach my son at home. She said, parents usually do it, but I would like to hire you to do it. She said, I have three kids. Would you be willing to do it with three kids? And I said, okay. So I started, and I think it's 1993, uh, September 1993, and by October I had 15 kids. I mean, it just, it came after me. You know, Americans are individuals, and they're very individualistic. And I think that um, more and more people are becoming aware that homeschooling might be the way to go for their particular kid because you have a lot more say as to what experiences those kids will be having during the day, whereas if they're in public school, they may be having experiences that you're not totally aware of. I have nothing against public school. It's just that it's geared to support parents who are working and to support a, a large group of kids. And with a large group of kids, you, you just can't, or I don't see how you can possibly affordably give them anything that we can give them privately or at home. That's jingles and patches. <laughs> the boys' pony. This is an example of Matthew's grade one work. And it's really great to once you have a few of these books through the year, at the end of the year, to look back at them and see how well he's developed in his handwriting and how even everything is. And even the pictures, what they choose to make sharp and what they choose to make dark. Homeschooling, um, it's not for all kids. You know, and it's a double-edged sword. It has some things that maybe need to be improved. For example, you're not with 
as large a pool of kids when you homeschool. And I think part of education is being with a large pool of people so that you can meet all different kinds of people. You know, I'm from the meditating community, and one of the requirements of kids going to my school is that we meditate here twice a day. And I was a school teacher in California, so I, you know, I have the depth of the long view. And um, when kids meditate twice a day in school, it's good because um, I think that if a student doesn't meditate, what I've noticed in all my years of being a school teacher is that um, they can get more caught in the dynamics of stress. In Fairfield, there is a good support for homeschool. We have a great homeschool uh, office down by the high school, um, Susan Chipman and Angevin Satcher. And um, while they uh, they plug the you know the generic materials, they give us the books. I mean, I go home with a huge box full of heavy books every year, which just gather dust on our shelves because the boys much prefer to do this than to look at a, a printed book, black and white printed book, and try to figure out math sums. Uh, astrologically, we're leaving the Piscean age. And the structures that have been in place in the Piscean age no longer, to some degree, serve the people of the Earth. We're going into the age of Aquarius, which is the age of enlightenment, we'll say, which there's a higher vibration on the Earth, okay? And a lot of these kids who have been born now since the 80s and so on and so forth, they're vibrating at a higher level and a lot of the old institutions that have been in place for 2,000 years no longer serve the youth that are coming onto the planet. And here it's process. For example, we might spend three hours here talking about an emotion, fear, or uh, why I'm mad at my father, or something like that. It, it's a process, and it's, it's very, very important. Public schools are full of yeah. extremely good teachers, yeah. extremely good teachers, but often, if, especially in middle school and high school, they have 30 kids and then for an hour and another 30 kids. So you could have a kid in your class who's dying inside, you know what I'm saying? He, he could be a subject of abuse or there could be divorce or whatever. And yeah, the teachers can ferret it out, but if a teacher's interfacing with let's say a hundred plus students a day, it, it's difficult. Public school, I didn't get as much attention as I needed, and I skipped. And I was starting to get into you know legal things and getting in trouble, and that kind of stuff. So you know I didn't really want to do that. So I came here. I thought that would help. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do quite yet, but I do have a hobby. I write music on the computer. I produce electronic music, and me and my friend know here, we, uh, we write music together sometimes. Yeah. <laughs>